hey y'all welcome back or welcome if you are new today we are back in this office area where we did half the floor and then did not do the other half because we're gonna i'll probably do that tomorrow but today since i just need to get this stuff cleared out but since the furniture isn't in here right now i'm gonna go ahead and paint this wall i think i have enough blue to stretch i'm wanting to do this blue 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 i'll skip the door for now and then paint this blue and then if we have time i am going to start painting this wall um white because we have this little thing of white that is probably going to be enough for just one wall um but i also have this little strip right here that needs to be painted white too i stopped because the dresser was in that corner so all right i'm gonna wipe down the walls first get all this stuff blurred out we're gonna get to painting recently got some ceiling paint in the mail um so i'm very excited to use that on our ceilings um but i just took a like a clorox wipe and wiped down the walls because i noticed there was some spots in the corner and y'all when y'all see this Clorox wipe, it is disgusting. There was so much dirt and nasty stuff on there. It has to be because we had the dresser in this corner. So all that dust just gets trapped between the dresser and the wall. But I am thinking of if, if I can make it happen in this room that I'm sitting in right now, I'm... Possibly you're just going to keep that dresser in here. I think I have, I think I can work some things around, but look how dirty this is. So I'm glad I did that before we went into painting because if you've ever tried to paint over a wall that is not properly cleaned, sometimes there's areas, if it's even like just oil, um, the paint will just like not stick at all. So you got to clean it. But here's our paint. If you're new here, we are using the Storm Cloud Blue by Sherwin Williams. And I get in the Valspar cans. It's ultra. It's amazing. <laughs> and I always keep my paint brushes in a Ziploc bag in the fridge so they stay wet. And I always put a trash bag over my tray so that I don't have to clean it.
had some uh, fairy lights up here so I'm just taking the push pins out and that way I can get to this wall without messing up the lights over there but there was something I forgot to tell y'all yesterday in the video when I was giving like tips on how to get things done even when you're not motivated and it was uh, God Okay, girls and guys, I don't know why I didn't mention that, but I think it was this morning when I, well, I should say this afternoon, when I was taking Chloe on a walk, I was like, wait a second, God's the reason why I'm able to do all this stuff, <laughs> and why we, we're like blessed and everything. Like, yes, the people have to do the work, but... That's like where all my ideas come from and all of that, you know? I'm getting distracted because i got cats walking around and noise everywhere. So, yeah, I'm a little scattered brain. But anyways, God is good. And I'm appreciative of all the wonderful things that God does in our life for Erin and I and Chloe and Lucy and Margaret which are all of our animals if you're new here um, yeah so that's that's really who I have to thank for literally everything Alright, got my messes done. Um, so, I still need to paint all the little, you know, white bits with a brush. So, I'm just going to let this completely dry. This is where we had to fix a, a big hole in the wall. And it was like a massive hole. You can actually see where the mesh is. I was like, oh, that's why I always have a picture hanging up there so i'll put a picture back there anyways but that wall's almost dry it's still wet down there at the bottom um but things are looking good so we're gonna eat dinner let this dry and then i'm gonna come back in and do all the edges and we will get to this another day
Alright, so I've recently gotten around 500 new subscribers in the past few weeks. So, I wanted to say if a lot of y'all are new here and you've seen what our home looks like currently, but you haven't seen what it looked like um, before we started all these projects, I'm going to leave um, the first home tour I ever did at the end screen of this video that way y'all can um, go click on that one and then you can see how it looked before we started with any of the updates and how far we've actually come Probably let me go, but you've got a porcelain ego talking fast and punching low, making sure that there are no traces of thinking I could have done better. Yeah, I know I was probably crazy thinking someday you'd change. There's nothing left. And my plan for the trim and the door is to just leave it brown. I think it looks really good next to the uh, storm cloud color. Um, it's just really warm and cozy. So as long as Aaron's okay with that, I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's why I'm being very slow um, I have this at like four times speed. I'm going super slow and in with the smallest brush I have um, around the trim. That way I do not get any paint on it. the same shore ever since the time I left you on the dark side with a promise and a rhyme and everybody else around are beating down on me to leave the only good thing I decided meant to be
I know I haven't really talked much in this video and it's because I'm just painting and I don't really have much to add to that but I will say painting puts me in a trance I was about to fall asleep but in a good way <laughs> <laughs> so let me know if you find painting also like almost a form of ASMR if you will said it was the last time but you keep coming back to tell me sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me i love just went cold but i'm still burning i love just went cold why i keep on making the same mistake
you keep coming back to show me sorry you have changed now but it's the same old story i love just went cold but i'm still burning i love just went cold Why? all right y'all so keep in mind it is really dark outside right now so it looks darker in here than it actually is but this turned out so good. I'm so glad that I did a clean paint job. It looks so crisp. So I will see y'all back here tomorrow for another video. Um, most likely going to be ripping out the other half of the carpet. <laughs>